Hi friends, uh, today I am going to deal with the consonants only and uh, uh, as usual the difference between American and British pronunciation also will be dealt side by side and today I am going to deal only with the affricates. There are two consonants, they belong to the category of affricates, uh, ch and j. Um, I think uh, you are having an idea that symbol ch in Tamil also I have written as itch. So first symbol is itch. The next symbol is itch. J. So they, they are known as affricates because uh, uh, they touch the while we are pronouncing that itch. Ch, our tongue and teeth, they touch, you know, for that uh, reason, it is, they are known as affricates. There is a sort of friction. That's why they, they are known as affricates. So, first I am going to deal with this itch sound. So, uh, we can see. First word is church. Normally, British people they skip over that R sound, you know, church. The first sound, itch, then a, uh, then itch. So, both here, church. We should not say church. Many people will have the tendency of pronouncing it as church. Church, they will say. But actually, the correct pronunciation is church. Americans, they pronounce it as church. Er, that is prefix R. They always uh, fold the tongue, you know, church, church, work, they say like that. The church. For that reason, only small R is uh, given along with that uh, er sound. Church. And next, chat. Chat. Both in American English uh, for, for the CH sound, see here, each, each sound, we have put T, 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 small t, and then on each symbol. Both are joined together. It is treated as a single symbol. Ch, each plus A plus T, t it, chat. Okay. Uh, American spelling also same, American pronunciation also same, chat. Okay. Then, let us take this children. But many people will get confused because for cat and all we start with CH, you know. For that we have to put the symbol K, ik. Here, because the sound is like this, children, itch. The, when the CH starts, we have to put this each symbol. Each symbol. Ch, ch, il, drin. Children or children. When you are telling in a weak manner, it will be children. When you want to give stress, we can say children. Then, same, same pronunciation only in America also. They pronounce it as children. Okay. Yeah. This word you have to observe carefully. We we follow British style and we say only cheerful, you know. C H E R F U L. Cheerful. So that is transcribed as cheerful here. She, uh, cheer, cheerful, fo, cheerful, cheerful, like that we say. Cheerful also you can say, but Americans they pronounce it as cheerful. Americans they pronounce it as. Chief 
cheerful. They don't say cheerful. They say cheerful. Cheer, cheerful. The next applicate is id j. Just like we put on d and z. That symbol. That is known as id. For, for j, id sound and all, we have to put d and z. In politics. Judge. Let us take the word judge. Judge. For that we put it, then a, and then it. Judge. Whereas Americans also they pronounce in the same way. Judge. Then next word is gentility. Gentility. For that. G only it starts as G only, but the sound is J. Normally, if the let word, word starts with the G means the G sound will be there. But some words, gentle, germ, for that term, we use only J. So, where, whether we are using that J for J, J normally they will use J sound. So, whether it is J or J, G, if the sound is J, we have to... Uh, Use this D and Z symbol. J. So here, gentility, gentility. Actually, the correct pronunciation is it's not gentility. The spelling is like gentility, but you have to pronounce it as gentility. Gentility. Americans also pronounce this in the same way only, but they that T is pronounced in a sort of flapping way. That is the gentility. Gentility. They don't say. That's why one symbol is put here to to know to show that uh, that the T should be pronounced in a soft way, like the gentility. Okay. Then bridge. Bridge for bridge, English people they pronounce it as bridge. Okay, bridge or bridge or they skip over normally. Whereas Americans they pronounce it with that flaw, that rooftoplex R it is bridge. Okay, bridge. That's why I put on small or along with that uh, so. Okay. Then next word is jolly. Jolly. J O L L Y. Jolly. Um, you pronounce it like this. Jolly. Jolly. Like that you pronounce. Whereas Americans they pronounce it as Jali. So I have exposed eight uh, words and I have actually today I have explained two uh, consonant sounds that is ch and j and they are known as affricates. So they, they, are, they belong to that category. But this is somewhat different, you know, the, these uh, symbols. That's why they are fo they, it has been focused, especially. So you have to remember it very well also. Other uh, consonant sounds and all, for B sound you can put B. For R sound you can put R, R symbol, like that. But for this J sound and Ch sound and J sound, for small T and then one uh, big yes, that is teacher sound.
this this is chersa 